welcome back to venkatna english guru friends we have started history of american literature and where i wanted to give you some basic knowledge about the study of american literature who are the popular writers and popular poets popular dramatists what are the historical events of american literature because so and previously we had a lengthy discussion with regard to history of british literature history of english literature and uh, after during the post colonialism during the post modernism the concept of english literature had divided into different aspects like american literature australian literature indian writing in english african literature african american literature like anything like different aspects as a student of literature as a student of literature literature when you are seriously preparing for ugc net or set examination if you really want to qualify these examinations you should also have complete knowledge about these literatures apart from english literature hence i started giving you some basic knowledge some basic foundation with regard to history of american literature where i spoke about different periods of american literature like the colonial period 1607 to 1775 early national period 1775 to 1865 where we spoke about different writers like american romanticists american renaissance experts american transcendentalist and first uh, uh, and father of american literature like uh, ralph waldo emerson first women writer feminist like margaret fuller like we we also discussed the early, uh, realistic period like 1865 to 1900 the popular writer like walter whitman and uh, later the naturalistic period from 1901 1901 to 1914 and in my previous video where i spoke about the modern period of american literature the history of american literature friends in this video i am going to talk about i am going to give you some basic knowledge the popular groups and the popular writers and the popular thematic aspects of american writers who wrote literature during being a student of literature and we need to have some basic knowledge whether those writers are from american origin or african origin or english origin and where are they actually from for example when you find out a writer like saul below Teddy Hughes, like the and and the moment you think of some of the students when they are seriously writing the net examination, even they are not in a position to identify whether the writers are from America or Australia or India or or Africa or African American, and people are not able to identify. As a student, my intention is you should have that kind of basic knowledge. For example, if I ask you who are the popular contemporary writers of American literature, you should. be able to recollect at least 20 to 30 popular writers of african american dramatists african american poets or popular american writers of contemporary modern like that you need to have that kind of basic knowledge but once you think of today the minimum criteria for qualifying the net examination is very low 40 40 to 43 it is not like where when i actually more than 2 years ago where i qualified my junior research fellowship but but today it's very very simple just having 42 percentage and the examination just 42 think of out of 300 where you you required to have just 120 130 it's very simple my friends when you know some facts some basic uh, knowledge of english literature that's what everybody requires to qualify the exam okay friends in this video we are going to talk the contemporary period of american literature that begins from 1939 to and to the present and you see the contemporary period 1939 to present who are the popular critics of american literature during this particular period edmund wilson the popular critic of the time edmund wilson and another important uh, popular critic was lionel trilling very 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 popular writer and as equal to t s eliot lionel trilling fr levels like new york and during this period my friends there was a popular group like uh, new york intellectuals and this included three popular uh, writers philips roff alfred cousin irving ho philip roff alfred cousin and irving ho the popular three important writers who were called new york intellectuals new york intellectuals remember these writers next during this period literature continued through the 1960s 
and to deal with a work of literature humanistically. So most of the literature was about humanistic ideas because World War I, World War II shorted the lives and create a lot of economical, social, cultural issues among the people. And most of the literature was about the world, about the humanity and about the universe. That is what most of the literature, whether it is fiction or drama or poetry, it was about universe. It's about humanistic ideas. It's about uh, promoting, cultivating humanistic values among the people. And historically, in the context of its author's life, so and uh, some of the writers, how they actually experienced and what kind of impact the World War II, World War I gave them. And they spoke uh, from the perspective of history, from the perspective of the war, from the perspective of social changes, cultural changes that brought in their own life. So literature was all about these issues and temperament and social milieu. And in terms of works of moral and imaginative qualities and its consequences for the society. For example, there is a concept like magic realism. So, and if they were as a part of World War II, what could be their ideas? They were in terms of imagination where they combined both reality and, and imagination together and they wrote literature during after 1960s. The 1950s were often regarded in, in retrospect as a period of cultural conformity and complacency was marked by the emergence of vigorous anti-establishment and traditional literary movements. So friends, during this contemporary period, literature was all about anti-traditional literary movements. So like what actually after World War I in modern period, when we talk about the history of English literature, literature was against the social institutions, cultural institutions. In the same way, this change actually happened in American literature after postmodernism, after 1950s. So literature was against anti-establishment, anti-traditional literary movements. So these were the major aspects, changes that took place. And during this period, apart from the New York intellectuals, there was another important group like beat writers. Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, these two were considered to be beat writers. American exemplars of literature of the absurd, absurdity. And these were the Black Mountain poets. They were the writers who wrote the concept of absurdity, the concept of existentialism, what Samuel Beckett wrote in terms of uh, uh, waiting for God or another important uh, place. Same thing that was uh, written in terms of poetry by these popular poets in terms of poetry, but whereas the concept of absurdity was, ex was exposed by and uh, Samuel Beckett, Harald Pinter, Arthur Adamo, Edward Albee, in terms of drama, in terms of writing a number of novels and number of fiction and uh, a lot of plays. But in as far as American literature is concerned, they applied the concept of absurdity in terms of poetry. These poets were called the Black Mountain Poets who combined the concepts of absurdity, theater of absurdity in terms of poetry and the popular writers Charles Holson and Robert Creeley, Robert Duncan, three popular writers who included, who uh, exposed and whose poetry dealt with the concept of absurdity. Three important writers you can identify. Next, apart from, there was another important group, the New York poets, Frank O'Hara, Kenneth Koch, John Ashbery, the popular poets, these were called New York poets, where they wrote literature, where they wrote a lot of poetry by centering from the nature and the ambience and the, uh, and the concepts of the ideas of New York City. Next, friends, the American prose writers after World War II. So who are the popular poets, popular writers, popular prose writers after World War II? Who were the popular writers? So one, Vladimir Nabokov, who emigrated to America in 1940 from Russia. Vladimir Nabokov and Enora Welty, Robert Penn Warren, very, very popular critic, Robert Penn Warren. The Study of Fiction, a very critical, popular critical book where we discuss this as a part of new criticism. Very, very, one of the major important figures of new criticism where he wrote a wonderful book like The Study of Fiction. 
maybe 1936 like and very important writer very 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 important new critic and bernard and malament james gold cousin saul below very 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 popular right you might have read as part of your ma as part of your ba the novel laureate and mary mccarthy norman mailer john updike cut one go to very very important science fiction a new science fiction and uh, these were the writers and uh, who specialized with a very popular uh, fiction cut one go and uh, thomas pinchin john bath joseph heller these four are very popular scientific writers and donald bartlem and el doctor of cynthia oziak the popular fiction writers of american literature next friends when we look at in poetry who were the popular poets and during this period so when we talk about the popular poets merian moore robert pin warren theodore rothick elizabeth bishop richard wilbur robert lowell allen ginsberg adriana rich silvia plath okay next year amans john ashbery the popular john ashbery adriana rich silvia plath allen ginsberg robert lowell very very popular writers these writers were considered to be poets of exclusion a confessional poets because they were the poets who wrote a lot of literature which is not to be spoken but they spoke that kind of poetry which we can say poets of exclusion or confessional poetry i i think i might have discussed in another in my previous videos and the popular writer of confessional poetry emily dickinson next and in drama the popular dramatists of of, of uh, american drama thought and wilder lillian hellman arthur miller everybody reads the popular american tragedy american modern tragedy death of a salesman and tennessee williams edward alby and a number of more recent playwrights including sam shepherd david mamet and tony kushner and wendy wasserstein so these were the popular dramatists and the contemporary in contemporary american drama okay next friends and i hope you remember all the time subscribe to our youtube channel for more more videos because once i finish and giving some background knowledge to knowledge about history of american literature next i, I will talk about background to the study of history of indian writing in english or history of african literature history of african american literature like i'll be making 5 to 6 5 to 6 5 to 10 videos on every background knowledge and before i talk uh, before i begin chapter wise uh, a discussion so subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos on literature different types of literature okay next many of the most innovative and distinguished literary work of the late decades of 20th century have been written by the writers belonging to one or another minority so even the situation when we talk about the concept of literature in america also the greatest literature was actually written by the minority people like in usa the minority people are considered to be the black the black writers the minority ethnic literary groups as race religion language and cultural modes and national origin there is a problem and uh, an african american novelist and essayist friends you will get a bit who of the following is a popular african american contemporary novelist african american contemporary essayist poet like that you will get bits these are very important so the popular african american novelist essayist this is the era of the notable african american novelist friends remember in contemporary period of american literature the literature is actually dominated by the african origin writers mainly the african american poets the african american novelist and dramatist some of them rolf ellison very very popular writer james baldwin richard wright albert murray gloria naylor alice walker very very popular writer alice walker and tony morrison and very popular writer my friends remember b b b b b s s t b uh, b j p l m n g there is a code like uh, where i have used i'll talk about 
So the first work that is written by Tony Morrison who passed away a couple of years ago and the bluest eye and the popular work, popular novel, beloved, you might have read it, it's a very wonderful novel where it, it becomes a part of every examination, every junior lecturer or degree lecturer. And Tony Morrison, Alice Walker, very popular novelist and essayist. And the popular poets and dramatists, popular poets and dramatists, Amiri Baraka, Larry Jones, Gwendolyn Brooks, Maya Angelou, Rita Doe, the popular poets, Lore Hansberry, August Wilson, the popular dramatists of African American dramatists in the contemporary period. So this is what I want to talk about. This is the basic knowledge of history of American literature, my friends. And if possible, I'll talk about the detailed history of Robert Frost and T.S. Eliot, Walt Whitman, a few writers, and uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. If possible, I'll be talking about these writers in detail in my next videos. Subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos on literature and uh, literature for UGC net examination, set examination, literature for different competitive examinations. See you guys, my friends. We'll meet in our next next time in another video.